Dear students, welcome to our class on Sensible Heat Advection. First, we try to understand the definition of advection. Advection is defined as a process of uh, transport of uh, an atmospheric property solely by mass motion of the atmosphere. As far as uh, uh, evapotranspiration is concerned, the same definition for advection is uh, the transfer of energy in the horizontal plane in a downward direction. Now, what is the gen generation of uh, sensible heat? Actually, in the net radiation is divided into latent heat flux plus sensible heat flux, of course, ground heat flux plus miscellaneous energy. Now, here we are giving we are concentrating on sensible heat. Sensible heat is the energy which is utilized in heating the air. Latent heat is the energy utilized in the evapotranspiration. Ground heat is the uh, okay the energy that is stored in the ground. Miscellaneous energy is the energy stored in the crop plant. So now, what is the generation or source of uh, sensible heat in general? Sensible heat is generated in regions. Uh, in the larger area in regions where water is in short supply since most of the net radiation is converted into sensible rather than latent heat in plain area say for example this is the surface okay how a warm uh, a cool air is there okay now here this particular cool air becomes warmer when it travels like this and touches the ground maybe 30 degree centigrade is the soil temperature 20 degree centigrade is the air temperature okay now so when it goes up it picks up the temperature here and it becomes warm air in other words warm air okay warm air in the vertical mixing vm we call it as in general aggregation method vm we call it as vertical mixture then of course it becomes cool then the wind blows is the okay the wind blows which is cool okay this is how warm air becomes cool or vertical mixing this is the source generation of sensible heat usually winds moving over a water body winds moving over a water body there the water becomes a sink of sensible heat if you stand on the leeward side of a paddy field which is irrigated and one of your friends stands towards the windward and you stand in the leeward side if you ask if you take the temperature on the windward side if it is 30 on the leeward side it would be 20 it is because of cloth line effect what is the cloth line effect now i will tell see when air is horizontally transferred from areas where sensible heat has been generated through crops a cloth line effect is uh, existing in that particular area so here the cloth line effect typify the changes because of the agronomic treatments like uh, okay crop density or different heights of uh, varieties so from windward side to leeward side if you take cloth uh, small areas they typify cloth line effect typify the small areas where the sensible heat is okay difference in the sensible heat is found on the windward side it may be 30 on the leeward side it may be 20 now okay what is the importance of it the importance of sensible heat flux is uh, very much 100 percent useful in estimating or determining the output transpiration and for your academic interest i would like to explain to you the differences between latent heat and sensible heat fluxes what is the latent heat latent heat is the energy utilized in the evapotranspiration now the amount of energy latent heat the amount of energy that is either absorbed or released during a phase transition at a constant temperature is latent heat that means the energy utilized in the evapotranspiration water in the liquid form is converted to vapor form in the LE now in the sensible heat the energy required to change the temperature of a substance with no phase change air is air on the windward side or leeward side okay now so it is uh, 
uh, latent heat is defined for a system with the phase transition of course uh, as i said uh, sensible heat uh, no phase transition now the latent heat describes the changes in the internal energy transfer that is the latent heat internal energy but whereas the sensible heat exchange is between matter and the atmosphere and finally very important difference uh, related to sensibility is related to a constant temperature whereas uh, okay, latent heat is uh, related to a system with the changes in the temperature last uh, daily example i will i would like to share with you when we walk for some time or go for jogging for some time our body sweats when wind is blowing over our body we get cool how and why the okay tissue um, and the sweat glands uh, release sweat when that sweat is taken out by the energy from the body our body becomes cool this is what is the general example what we find in our daily life thanking you very much